Looking for a model rail project to keep you busy during social distancing? Not sure what to build? Let me inspire you. Part 2 covers small N-gauge end-to-end layouts that can be built by one person. Hi, I'm Andrew Gebby. You're watching the Heritage and Model Rail channel. And if this is the first time to this channel, become a subscriber. And don't forget the bell icon so that you can be notified when new content appears. Here you can view Nempnit Thrubwell, an N-gauge layout by Mike Hudson. Villages of Nempnet Threadwell look forward to meeting visitors. The home of Wurzel Gummidge, the local sunflower competition down in Nempnet Threadwell in dear old Somerset, so the song goes. The layout is set on three boards. It was built two years ago and took three months to construct. The stock, mainly Dapol and Graham Farish, is controlled by DCC Digitrax. The back scene is by ID Back Scenes. My thanks to Mike for the information. This engage layout is Anston and was exhibited by Martin Sharrock. Anston was once a busy cross-country route, but became a terminus following the beaching cuts. A basic passenger service continued to operate, with freight serving a cement works and local collieries. Since the 1990s, passenger and freight traffic have started to increase. The layout is 14 foot long across three and a half boards. The buildings are a mixture of Kestrel and Metcalf kits. Track is Pico, digitally controlled by Sigma Track. Stock is a mixture of Dapol, Backman and Fleischmann, with some locomotives fitted with Dapol Supercreep motors. My thanks to Martin for the information. This N-gauge layout is Brook Lane exhibited by Paul Butler. Brook Lane is a Midlands depot under control of trainload coal, serving the local coal fields and Trent Valley power stations using mainly corporate grey or older rail freight liveries. Other locos come off the adjacent yard which sees a variety of traffic for local trip workings, permanent way or wagon repair. The layout covers two boards, plus a little bit extra. Buildings are a mixture of scratch build and kits. Track is Pico Code 55 and control is Analog DC. Stock is a mixture of Graham Farish and Dapol. My thanks to Paul for the information. This N-gauge layout is Hook Hills Viaduct, exhibited by Chris White. The layout depicts a small part of the single track line between Goodrington Sands and Churston on the branch from Newton Abbott to Kingswear. This is a small snapshot of the services which were seen on the line in the period of late 1961 and early 1962 during the transition from steam to diesel. The coaching stock is a mixture of British Rail Mark 1s, Hawksworth, Collett, Stania and Gresley designs running in the liveries used by the railways in this period. This layout is Longmoor, modelled in N-gauge and exhibited by Ray Oliver. The layout is based on the Longmoor Military Railway run by the Royal Engineers. Although Longmoor was built in 1905 this layout shows the period after the Second World War. Soldiers were trained at the depot to build and run railways. They were sent to France after D-Day to rebuild the French railways so supplies could be moved freely. Longmore Military Railway closed in 1969. The layout is L-shaped and can only give a representation of the vast complex. 
The left hand end represents Oakhanger Halt railway station, whilst the right hand end shows main camp, workshops and barracks. Buildings are representations and not true scale. Michael, who is currently distancing himself in his flat in Italy, reached out to me this week to show me progress on his N-gauge layout. On a 1m by 2m foldable board, the layout is DCC with an ECOS ESU controller. His YouTube video is in the link above. Check it out, it has some useful tips. The most important, don't use Gorilla Glue to stick your track down. Here's some more videos to inspire. This N-gauge layout is Lee St George, exhibited by Lee Thompson. Lee St George is a fictional layout which is a terminus station at the end of a branch line. The station has one large platform with a small station building. Lee St George is also served by a small goods yard and attraction maintenance depot. At the back of the station is a row of houses known locally as Railway Terrace. There is a popular fish and chip shop called Codfather and a pub called The Lamb and Flag. The layout is set in the era 1995 to 2002 and is 8 foot by 5 foot, requiring one or two operators. Control is analog DC. My thanks to Lee for the information. This N-gauge layout is Leonard, exhibited by Sean Healy. Leonard is a layout based on a fictional location in the south of England at the end of a busy branch line. Representing Network South East between 1986 and 1994 on the third rail network using ready to run and modified stock. Buildings are a mixture of kits by Kestrel and scratch built. Track and points are Pico and control is DC. Stock is by Graham Farish. My thanks to Sean for the information. This layout is Westwick, modelled in N-Gage and exhibited by Ian Monks and Rob Davis. Westwick is an end-to-end -end layout of a fictitious location. The name comes from the blending of Western Supermare and Wick, places the owners come from. It's a modern image layout based from 1990s to present day. It comes with a fiddle yard at one end and a station, harbour and storage yard at the other. The harbour line is running on an auto shuttle. Buildings are a combination of scratch build and kits. The layout is controlled by analog DC and stock is a combination of Graham Farish, Dapol and Backman. Thanks to Ian for supplying the information. This N-gauge layout is Sutton St Anne's, exhibited by Anthony Sutton. Sutton St Anne's is a fictitious coastal town set somewhere along the coast of northwest Lancashire between the towns of Blackpool and Lytham. The line to Sutton St Anne's diverges off at Poulton le Fylde on the Preston to Blackpool main line. The era modelled is 1990 to 1995 with class 20, 31, 37 and 47. First and second generation DMUs, small trip freights and a daily nuclear flask working. The layout is 10 feet long in total, 6 feet scenic with a 4 feet traverser board. Control is DC. This N-gauge layout is Ron Schaffen, exhibited by Falkirk Model Railway Club. Ron Schaffen, a small terminus station in mid-Germany, originally a small port the town was rebuilt after the war, but the dock was mainly filled in and only a small wharf remains. Important local landmarks are the old manor house, now opened as a leisure centre with a tennis court, swimming pool, mini golf and a full 18-hole golf course 
heading over the hill. The layout is built on three four foot by two foot plywood boards supported on a two by one timber frame. It is designed to fit into a room at home, hence the L shape. There are two handheld controllers. Each can control trains on all parts of the layout, but the tram has its own controller. The railway track work is Arnold. All the tram track work is Pico. Check out other content that I have by selecting the playlist. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you there.